Hello everyone and welcome to another I'm excited about March 8 video for Jurassic World Evolution 2. Today Frontier gave us the first good look at the glowing Parasaurolophus skins. So we're gonna watch the clip first and then we're gonna go a little bit in depth and hype out together. Parasaurolophus lux is another of Dr. Wu's more unique creations. The marriage of genes from a variety of marine creatures has given the herbivore a fascinating bioluminescent skin. Truly a sight to behold after dark. All right, so let me first address the obvious here, aside from the beautiful, amazing, wonderful Parasaurolophus. That is finally going to give me a reason to turn my sandbox park to nighttime. All of them. That, that'll just be a thing now. The obvious thing that is happening is we are going to get more of these. I don't know why I didn't consider we'd even get these at all, because of course it only makes sense. Uh, but you know, the fact that there's like an entire intro made for it, I can definitely see that we're getting more of these clips for the other dinosaurs and skins in the Camp Cretaceous DLC. And I'm mostly excited about um, Bumpy and to a lesser extent also Scorpius Rex, just to know basically what they're gonna say with the narration, how they're going to tie the Camp Cretaceous timeline universe with the game universe, you know, because the game has always sort of like dangled on a little bit in terms of, uh, yes, it's it's part canon, it's part not canon. So I really just, I'm curious to, to know what they're gonna say about that. But that's all we can really um, say about this. I'm not expect expecting one for every single thing that we're gonna get in this DLC, but the more the merrier, definitely. New species discovered, bioluminescent dinosaur. This is a little bit like getting us hyped up about more than what it is. Just call it a bioluminescent Parasaurolophus because that is all that we're getting. Um, some people were hopeful that it was a bioluminescent gene that could be applied to more dinosaurs. No, we're just getting two Parasaurolophus skins that are only applicable to the Parasaurolophus. It's not a genome manipulation that you can use on other species. Just to clarify that, because I've seen that comment going around in my comment section, and I, I, wa I want you guys to manage your expectations so just so you won't be disappointed. We're getting a lot of great stuff on March 8th. I've gone on and on and on about this. Um, and this is one of the great things that we're getting. Just don't expect it to be more than it is. That's all I'm trying to say here. So let's go forward into uh, this first, this is really the only look that we're gonna get at the daytime Parasaurolophus. I think at the start of season two of Camp Cretaceous, you see a Parasaurol... Uh, 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 Jesus, what words, English. <laughs> you see a Parasaurolophus very briefly in the first episode of, again, I think the first, uh, sorry, the second season, it gets hunted down by Rexy. And I'm pretty sure this is the skin for that. I do remember it being like a muted green. I don't quite remember the exact pattern, but this definitely looks familiar to me in that regard. Of course, the patterning itself is just very reminiscent of what we know of the Parasaurolophus. Um, there's, I think, a little less color variation in this daytime skin than there is in most other skins that we have currently in the game. So it is kind of a dull daytime skin. And maybe on one hand, I would have liked it if this daytime skin was maybe a little bit more exciting. But on the other hand, the fact that it is so... I mean, the word dull sounds mean, but let's be honest, it is a little dull. That also highlights just the huge transformation that it undergoes, which we're gonna watch happen right here. By the way, really beautifully done. And bam, there it is. Oh my, it's so, so glowy. Uh, let's first just appreciate this shot we have right here. We have three Parasaurolophus in view. You can already see that not all of the skins are the same, but we can see that better in some of the next shots in the clip. We are getting two different Lux Parasaurolophus skins. There's really nothing else of note in the background here. I did already study it. I'm not really discovering anything new. Yes, maybe some of these trees are actually the individually placeable trees. We don't know. They could just be 
uh, place with the uh, with the drain brush. There's no way of knowing that at the moment. Let's just focus on the Parasaurolophus. Going forward, and here you go. Beautiful shot of it drinking, and another one walks into uh, into frame. And here you can really see the difference. Oh, maybe this is even better. There you go. Let's get rid of most of the motion blur. There's something like that. So you can really see the distinction here between the two skins. Uh, the most obvious difference is, uh, let me let me zoom in for y'all. The most obvious difference being the color of the crest. This one is a, well, it's white, but it looks very bluish, but I would describe it more as a white. And the other one is uh, very pinkish. Oh, this is the one I need. No. How do <laughs> anyway, <laughs> technology. I uh, I have a, um, a a very limited grasp on it, <laughs> but yeah, we have. Let's just call it blue. Whatever. This is the blue toned crest. We have a pink toned crest, but there are also differences in the body. Let me <laughs> let me bring her back down. Uh, this one over here. Let me shrink this down there and we'll do that uh so this one has um more like a rose uh how do i say this like more of a rose pink tone to it glow to it and this is a little brighter a little bit more neon if i'm making myself clear probably not i have difficulties with that what did i just do uh, but you can definitely see a, uh, a difference in not just the color that's on the crest, but the color that's on the body as well. So that's nice. There are definite distinctions between the two skins. I do think my favorite, like looking at it in the background over here, this looks so nice. This skin looks absolutely amazing and I can't wait to have it in my parks. And it is kind of a shame that it's only the Parasaurolophus, but at the same time, it also makes the Parasaurolophus just more special. So I'm not, I'm not too mad about it. I'm not too mad about it. Let's see if there's uh, more. Look at that lens flare right there. JJ Abrams would be pro. Oh yeah, up and down. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop. Uh, here we have them in the water again. You know, just showing off the skin. It looks really, really nice. I'm really amazed by the the effect that this creates. I'm so in love with this, and this might actually be the thing in the Camp Cretaceous DLC that I'm most excited about. Yes, even more excited than Bumpy. Yes, even more excited than the Mono... Uh, Jesus, Monolophosaurus. I just think this is so unique to anything else we have in our in our Jurassic World Evolution 2 right now that, yeah, I am I'm most hyped about this one. And you can definitely expect a, uh, a pretty hardcore, pretty interesting exhibit speed build for this one. Uh, my imagination is running amok right now. I'm very much looking forward to playing around with this. And here we have, I think this is the final shot, yeah, of just uh, a nice herd in a paddock we have the monorail going over again i don't i don't really spot anything uh new in this shot uh, i do really like that the bears all of us is doing his little rolling over animation look at also um the uh, the reflection in the water it looks so so good that's really all i had to say about this um really it didn't really need an in-depth analysis or anything like that but as you can tell, for the past couple of days, I've just been super, super excited about all of this new stuff coming into the game. And interestingly, and I want to share that with you, one of the most recurring comments that I keep getting from people is this update, you know, that is coming out along with the Camp Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack is what is bringing me back to the game. That's not me speaking, that's me like reciting what other people are saying. I see that comment over and over. I sort of put the game away, forgot about it, but this update is bringing me back. And that's really, really awesome that a lot of people are, you know, finally getting from this game what they really want. So that's going to be really, really nice. It's finally, I feel, really becoming the game that we we always wanted since 2018, essentially. Uh, just to uh, to recap, the Parasaurolophus Lex skins, the nighttime skins, are coming in the Camp Cretaceous DLC pack. That is paid content. Uh, it is 10 euros, 10 dollars, 8 pounds. Um, 
not on top of one another like <laughs> it depends on where you live what which price applies and it's coming out on march 8 along with the free update if you enjoyed this sort of excitement that i want to share with you give the video a like and if you like this game and you just want to see more content for it then consider subscribing to the channel join the evolution square we are we are inching towards 100,000 subscribers so i'd really appreciate it if you would join the channel thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the game!